hose up when one's gonna hit the hose and it's all down. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Good job. We did it, boys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> bring it in. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Gavin and I'm the cinematographer here at Peppermint Films. You might know us from some of our commercials or short films, or you might not know us at all and you don't care what I'm about to say. But I'm still going to tell you anyway. Today I'm going to show you a couple things that we like to do in our free time to practice our general cinematography and filmmaking. And one of those things is shot recreations. Shot recreations are a great, easy, fun way to practice your lighting and cinematography, especially when you're starting out. It's something that I love to do in those early days when I didn't really know anything about lighting. All of the shots that I'm going to show here today are nighttime scenes. Uh, each of them are going to show a different effect or location and that's going to be one interior, one exterior, and then one exterior with rain. Oh my god. So for this little project we just got some of our main usual crew. First one being Jacob Cow, our trusty director behind the scenes. We have Marley, he was doing our BTS today but he's been our first AC. And then we have Adam, our lovely first AD, always there to yell at us. And then we had Keenan, who got us the location as always, and just kind of gave us a little helping hand on set, which is always nice. And Quinn, who was our talent. You see the Jacob? Oh, sure. yes. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I didn't really Quinn. think it was. Oh it was my like, god, he looks so handsome. The first shot I'm gonna dive into today is from the new Fincher movie, The Killer. We thought this scene here with Michael Fassbender looked pretty interesting. So what I initially thought was done for this scene from The Killer was that maybe they had a light up overhead and we're just bouncing it into the table or into a white bounce card or paper. But after giving that a try, it didn't really seem like it worked. So I just took a small tube light and just placed it on the table, camera left, and had that as the key to kind of fill in what the lamp wasn't doing. And then in the background there, you can see there's a small little like spill that seems to be motivated from the lamp. So I, what I did there is I just took a spotlight behind the camera and just shot it right at that back wall. On that camera right side too, we just took a floppy, which is essentially just a big black fabric. So you could do a sheet, you could do whatever, um, and just place that there to kind of raise some of the contrast levels on the right side of his face. BTS of the cat. He has the biggest eyes. Look at him. <clears throat> so this right here is the assistant DP. Um, he actually has a lot of really important roles, including gaffing, um, you know, setting up the locations. He's more of an executive producer, really. You know, he kind of he holds <laughs> he holds all the hats. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let him back go back to doing his job. <laughs> so our next scene here was from Fargo. Uh, shot by the great Roger Deakins. Obviously right off the bat, first thing you notice is that crazy eye light slashing across the, the main character's face there. And what we did to achieve that is I just took an Aperture 300D with a spotlight on it and shaped it to get that kind of slid across his face. But you can really do this with any kind of light as long as you have some way to control the, the shape of it, whether that's with gaff tape or you have barn doors or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can close your eyes quick. <laughs> getting obliterated. And we just placed that light camera left shooting into the window. And obviously we couldn't take out the windshield, which it looks like they did in this scene, to shoot into the driver's seat. So what we did is just take Quinn and we put him in the back passenger side and set up the tripod in the jankiest way possible <laughs> in that front passenger seat to be kind of resting on the seat and aimed at Quinn in the right way. So next thing I did with the lights is you can see the, in the back there's two car headlights. What we did is take two just aperture 200Xs or 300Ds back there and just shine them in a way so that we could control the intensity on the lights, which is just just makes it a little easier. And then next, took a Nanlite Pavo tube above, just kind of resting back there with the police siren effect on it to get that on the window. Yeah, and then we had Adam do the makeup for this. 
it looks spot on. Oh my god. It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I think we did a pretty good job. It looks close. So, And it's a pretty simple one that you can do yourself if you want to give it a try too. And slowly look up. And turn. All right, and moving on, uh, the next scene here is from Road to Perdition by Sam Mendes. Some great cinematography in this movie. One of my favorite scenes from this movie is where uh, Tom Hanks is in the rain next to the car and he's just killing everybody. So <laughs> that's what we tried to recreate here. The, the obvious thing is the rain. How do we do that? Well, instead of having to rig up some crazy expensive rain system, you just take a hose. We, we attach a high pressure nozzle that's like $9 from the hardware store, like Home Depot or something. Put that on the end of it and just spray it up in the air. Have someone hold it next to the talent or the camera, just spray it up in the air and it, it does the job. The most important thing when you're doing this is make sure you waterproof all of your equipment. You don't want anything getting damaged. You don't want to start some crazy electrical fire. So you can, you just take like uh, any kind of waterproof material and put it over your lights or your, your cables, your camera, everything. How are we looking? It's looking like a, like a film noir. And now to break down some of the lighting, what I did, really simple setup here. We just took a soft box coming from behind, I think with a 600D, and just had that coming from behind to backlight both of our characters in the rain. That's another super important thing when you're doing the rain is make sure you backlight it or else it's just not going to show up on camera. So yeah, that was our main backlight. And then to camera right of our of Quinn, our main character here, we had another softbox, easy. Just lighting him up, up high, pointing down. That's it. And it's a super simple setup, really easy to do. And there's a lot of ways you can make this cheap too. You get Instead of using a giant softbox in the back, you use a shower curtain, does the same thing. You use a shower curtain here in the front, does the same thing. You don't need expensive equipment to make this work. You just gotta know your directions and the softness of the light and that's it. I want to raise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that wraps up our three looks that we've recreated from different feature films. Um, if you want to go ahead and give it a try yourself, please do. Please show us what you did. Uh, we'd love to check it out. We'd love to answer any questions that you have down in the comments. But yeah, hope you have a great day. See ya.